Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Listen, uh, my last video I put up of um, me getting the car dynoed back in 2012 um, is doing really, really well, surprisingly. Uh, sometimes the videos that I think are going to do pretty poorly do well, and the videos I spend a lot of time on and think they're really good don't do very well at all. But it doesn't matter. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying that video. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you guys for all the thumbs up. I uh, really appreciate you guys' support. On this one, this is the video that I recorded the very next day after getting the dyno done. Uh, I had told you guys that I was doing the dyno because I was going to put on a few upgrades in, onto the car. Um, and the total horsepower it was supposed to add was 64 horsepower. Now again, that's probably not realistic. Whenever you buy performance parts online, a lot of times they'll tell you, ah, this part here should give you around 11 horsepower, 20 horsepower, whatever the horsepower is. Um, in this video, you're gonna notice that um, my my uh, way of videoing is a little different. I'm, I'm a little goofier. I do some weird, crazy things. Again, that was just how, I, I still am that way a lot today. I just don't do it on my current videos just because it's just, I'm 30 now, so I, I try to be a little more mature. Um, so you'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, I'm just a little different. You'll notice that I'm wearing some pretty legit socks though, like high white tube socks. Got that from my dad, but he don't wear that much anymore either because I kind of told him, Dad, yeah, you kind of need to cut that out. But he still does it every once in a while, but we still love him to death because he's my father and, uh, well, he uh, he's pretty awesome. I had a lot of clips I couldn't put in the video because there was a lot of copyright music in the background and because of this restrictions on YouTube, you can't monetize a video with copyright music in the background, which is lame, but it is what it is. So therefore, I couldn't put a lot of the clips in. So. Um, in the beginning of the video, I tell you what I'm going to do, and I end up not doing those in the video, but I put a little note in there of why, and, and you'll, you'll see what I'm doing. Um, there's also a part in here where you'll see my wife, but at, at the time the video was made, she was not my wife yet, she was actually my fiance. Um, so it's kind of cool to see her in that video too, you know, way back in the day. She had um, long hair back at that point as well. Um, so she's in the video, which is pretty cool, and my, uh, my little puppy dog, um, he's a little Boston Terrier named Tyke. Um, he was in the video, he's in the video too, uh, he has passed away now, um, several years ago, uh, but it, when I was, when I found these videos, it was kind of sad to see him because I really miss my little buddy. So, uh, here we go, this is the day after the dyno, whenever I was going to clean up the car, get it washed up, and then add some performance parts onto the engine. Enjoy! <sighs> yeah, today is March 17th, which is the day after the dyno. <laughs> Saturday and it is currently nine o'clock in the morning right now. I think it's nine o'clock. It's like nine, nine oh one, something like that. If you look on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you might see it. <laughs> Maybe not. Anyways, I'm going to start working on the car today. I'm gonna take the wheels off, get them cleaned up, the tires, and um, start putting some performance stuff on them. But um, first I gotta find, you know what, I think I might know where it's at. My little white socket to take off the nuts and stuff. Is it I found it, there it is. Right there. I looked in the actual car this morning, couldn't find it. I was like freaking out because I spent like thirty dollars for a socket for my car, and I couldn't find it. I was like, what the heck's going on here? <laughs> Anyways, I woke up this morning, had a bowl of cornflakes, you know, some mighty might get me all pumped up kind of cereal. You know what I'm saying? What are you staring at? Nothing. Okay. Anyways, I will let you know when I do stuff. I will, I will show you when I do stuff, and uh, enjoy the time I'm, uh, you're gonna watch. Bye. And it's 11:38. Got my four tires here stacked up. With the, with the uh, yeah, with a pillowcase on top here to keep dust off the wheels. Very disappointed though. I found a bad crack in this tire right here. This right here is no good. I'm gonna have to get that replaced. Hopefully it's under warranty. I'm gonna look around see if there's any more on the tires because I can't have that because that is dangerous. And if it blew, my wheel would be scraping the ground and I'd replace the wheel, which would be a lot more money than just a tire. So, yeah. So, later. Well, it is 3.39 p.m. on uh, March 27th, 2012. And right now I'm getting ready to clean my uh, lug nuts because they're really dirty. 
and um, I'm so excited to get them all shined up again because it's been a while. So that's what I'm doing right now, and I will show you. I'm using my mother's chrome polish once again. <laughs> and I will see you later. Uh, bye. It is 3.58, and I finally got my lug nuts clean here. As you can tell, they're stacked up, all shiny, crystallized, and heck and heck. <coughs> I'm going to put them on this cloth right here, and then blow them up and take them out in the garage out there. Can I say hi? Mm. Hi. Hi, Chelsea. I wasn't in your last Corvette video. I was mentioned, so I thought I'd be in this one. Okay. It's currently 4.29, and I got some more detail sprayed today at, um, Tim Barrick's shop, and I am getting ready to put these. This tire looks so brand new compared to the other ones, as you can tell. There's a lot more tread on it, but I'm going to. Look at this thing shine, man. This thing's just glisten. Isn't that sick? Look at that. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to shine these up with a little more, make sure they're completely clean, free of crap, and then um, put them on the car. And I will show you I put them on the car, so I'll see you later. Meh. Do a torque wrench. I don't know if you can see it here or not. These numbers right here, you want to make sure it's on 100. For these, some cars take 95, some take 110. I do mine at 100. Someone just texted me. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to put this on here, get these good and tight for one, all evenly, going in diagonals. Mom's hand. And then once I get this all done, then you want to go around and make it tight to the point where it clicks. And when it clicks, that's how you know that it was at 100 pounds. Listen. Hear that click? That's how you know that you have 100 pounds. Click. Back over here. Click. Over to this one over here. Click again. And you want to click this one. And after you think you have them all done, you go around real quick, make sure they're all click. Like, click. 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 That's five of them. So therefore I know that those five are on. So that's how you install a tire or a wheel a wheel onto a car with five lug nuts. Some cars take six lug nuts, some take eight, some take four. All depends on what kind of junk you have. But, that is that. I'm going to put, take the Corvette off the jack stands now so we can actually like have it sitting on the tires so we can actually back it out of the garage. Don't tell anybody. Just kidding. I will see you when I do that. Bah. It's 5.55 and Josh is over here now helping with the car. I washed it and Josh is just spraying it off. And as you can see, I got, I got uh, bags on my wheels here because they're all nice and clean. I don't want them getting all dirty again. So, got bags on them so they stay nice and clean. Once Josh runs her off, I'm going to dry her off and then we'll be at a detail spread. I got some more detail spread tonight. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. And I will catch you whenever the car is clean. Bye. The key to a beautiful car is detail spray. And right now, by the way, it is currently. 6.15 p.m. Uh, I detailed everything so far, and all I gotta do now is detail the hood. The hood's the most immaculate part of the car. It's what you see the most, and the wheels. The wheels are already done. But as far as all the paint, black paint, the hood is where it's legit. You know what I'm saying? So what you wanna do is get a nice, clean rag, fold her up like light. Spray bottle of ethyl spray. Smells like cherries and grape. So it's like grapery. Get it? You just spray this on lightly. Like so. Like that. And a couple extra shots. For the good luck. And then you want to put this to the side. Start polishing. Hold up. Just so you know, before I go any further in this video, <laughs> do not do what I'm about to do because this is back before I really knew how to properly 
detail or or clean or polish a car before I actually learned it from Adam himself from Adam's polishes um, so what I'm about to show you here do not do uh, it's not the right way to do it um, I in no way am I saying this is how you should do it this is the way I used to do it but do not do what you're about to see because this is absolutely horrible in a nice circular motion really rubs it into the pores of the paint Like so. And you can go like this to get nice even strokes so it can dry. I don't even use cheap rags anymore. These are the kind of rags you can buy at Walmart or some auto store and you can tell they're really they're, they're soft-ish, but like if you have dry skin like me, you can actually put them on your skin and they'll, your, your hand will actually hold onto it and grab a cling onto it. That scratches your paint pretty badly. Uh, the, the rags that you buy from like Adam's polishes are a lot more expensive, but they're super, super, super soft and they will not scratch your paint if they're used properly. So I don't even use these, these rags anymore. This, this whole video is just, it's crazy to know this is how I used to polish my car. <clears throat> then you want to just put the rag over to a drier spot and go over it again. Make sure there's no wet spots or stumps. Um, more so we can see where it was rubbed. You want to make sure it's completely dry, free of any kind of spit that might happen from me talking on it. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. But, uh, hope you guys are enjoying this video. I absolutely love my car. Not as much as my fiance Chelsea Monkey, of course, but this year is definitely one of my prides. Joey Drahi. Probably got her paid off. So now it's mine. And uh, oh, that's a wrap. So uh, I'm going to put the car cover on. Now let's see it when I do it. Dad's going to help me out here. See you later. Bye. 626 is the current time and the car is now covered. I actually wanted to show you, cover me, I wanted to actually show you Dad and I cover this, but I forgot to turn the camera on. So it's a little bit of a disappointment, but I don't feel like taking it off again because it's kind of painted butt. But anyways, um car is done. It's 12.07. Josh is putting the chip inside the car here as you can see. It's the computer. We're thinking that there was already a chip in it because the one that was in there said Jet Performance, but I don't know. Might have been in stock or it might be something else. But we also put this piece right here on the car. The silver thing. So it's add 11, 11 horsepower. And this shoe's supposed to add 20. So we will put this back on here and talk to you later. It's 12.32 in the afternoon. We got the fan shroud out of here. It's actually sitting right there. That piece right there goes in this hole. We got to put... We got to put uh, this... Uh, box right here and that thing in this filter in place of this more power so dad's helping us now hi dad hey son how you doing good see you later see you later 1244 and we're going to cut this sharpie line out here with this thing oh my yeah and I'm gonna be the one cutting don't make fun of my glasses well, I'll see you later it is 1 o'clock on the dot on the afternoon of March 17th, 2012, and we could not use the air thing because it melted it. So we ended up using the Sawzall right here, and it cut right through it. Perfectly fine. So we are good. Go in here and assemble it together and get on the car. See you later. See you, Josh. Later. This is what it's going to look like. We've got the little box on top of the fan shroud here, and the filter's going to go in through here, and then it's going to go into the car. That's looking pretty nice right there. Don't you have to take the four screws out or something like that then to replace so the we, door? It's 239 and we are taking, we took out the thermostat which is down here and we're cleaning it out because it was like, the water is like, looks like mud, it's like all brown, it's like poop. So uh, we're flushing it all out, flushing out the tank. Dad just cleaned the tank out right here. Tank's pretty dirty, Dad. Mm -hmm. It's good and clean now though. So. Uh, we're gonna put that back on the car and get some manifreeze in there and then we're gonna start it up and uh, flush her out. So, 
Let's see a little bit. Well, it's 3.04 and we got everything put together here. Here's the uh, thing and there's the new thing I put on for the uh, cold air. It's pretty sweet. The chip's in here. Thermostat's in there. We cleaned everything out and uh, we don't have enough antifreeze to finish this. We got to go to Walmart and get more antifreeze. And uh, then we'll put the rest of that in and we'll get her started and run her through and make sure the thermostat works. Well guys, what'd you guys think? Uh, I did not have any more videos. That's all the clips I had for some reason. Um, I, I wasn't real good back then at like recording everything that I did. Um, mostly because I didn't really have other YouTubers to watch and learn from. Um, but once uh, I got that cold air rammer on, when we closed the hood, um, the, the plastic um, box, the, the see-through box, um, actually... Um, the hood actually hit it a little bit, and it wouldn't. The, the hood wouldn't shut all the way. So what we did is we actually lifted the hood back up, and there was a little metal bracket right at the right at the bottom um, where the little Bowling Green Kentucky emblem is, and it stuck out a little bit. And my dad and I actually got our um, cutoff wheel and just cut off a little section and grinded it smooth. And once we did that, it, it's been fine ever since. Um, so that was the only modification we had to do to the actual car itself after excuse me after installing that. Um, besides Matt. Uh, it's really cool and whenever when I put that thing on the car I mean, It's not in the video, but um when you start the car and especially with the hoods open You can really hear that thing sucking air whereas before you couldn't hear that at all um, And I did notice a little bit of a power gain when I put that on uh, I think the I think the, um the internet said 20 horsepower which I don't I don't think I gained 20 But I, I think I did gain a little bit from that but when I added that plus the airfoil plus that was a hypertech chip I do have the box still but it's at my parents house where the car is currently at um, I don't have it with me to show you guys what exactly it was, um, but it was a Hypertech chip that I bought, I think, from Ecklers.com for the Corvette website. And as far as that red cone filter you saw in the video, um, that was put on back in 2012. This is currently 2019, as you guys know. Seven years later, I just actually cleaned that filter um, three or four weeks ago. I actually unscrewed it, took it out, and it was like, there was like nothing on it. Again, there's probably only... I think 10,000 miles on the car since then, so it's not really seen much dirt at all because I don't drive it in stones and, you know, dirty areas. Um, so I have taken the filter off and cleaned it. Um, it. It wasn't very dirty at all, but it's very easy to take off and clean. Not an issue. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, uh, I know it's an older video. It's it's not currently what I'm doing today as far as vlogging and making um, videos of me doing the car. I just want to show you guys the old 2012 Dulop again. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as you enjoyed the last one. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy this video, I'm sorry, but please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I am standing in front of my amazing portrait that my wife got me for Christmas a couple years ago. This is my favorite picture of all times. It's six foot by four foot tall. My most favorite picture. And uh, I like doing, when I'm doing interior videos, like when I'm in the house, I like to have this in the background so you guys can see it. Take care.